Evet hepiniz tekrar hoş geldiniz. Bugünkü Hello everyone. Today we are gonna start right now our second session. We will be together with Onucan Çaylı. He is working at Bahçeşehir University as an academician. He is gonna give some information about character analysis in games. Now I would like to invite him. Hello, welcome to our session. How are you doing? I hope you feel good. We are all Whenever you feel ready, you may start the session. Uh, our session will, your session will be English or Turkish. Yeah, we have online interpretation right now. Okay, then I'm gonna have my presentation in Turkish then. Hello everybody, my name is Onur Can Çaylı. As it has been said, I've been working at Bahçeşehir University in the Department of Animation and Computer Products. I've been uh, working on concept design and, and I've been giving those classes and also digital um, creation classes I've been carrying on. And apart from that, I've been carrying out uh, some projects in and out of the country full time. If I mention and give some information about myself. I got the training of fine arts at high school and during university, I got uh, necessary training in, in computer designs and computer planning. And uh, on visual effects, I get my master's degree. And apart from that, I got the opportunity to work in the United States in some different firms. And the technologies that we are using and the programs that we are using are style of speech in are found in different places in this entertainment sector and in various companies i have worked and i had the opportunity to work in different places in different companies in visual effects in animation companies i worked and also in computer games uh, in that sector i have worked and also the content uh, might be different but technically there are some similarities and also there are some differences and one of those differences is is the last process the vis visual visualization part and the technical infrastructure is also different here in fact right now in the movie sector and uh, the game sector can be used interchangeably and interactively yeah they have maybe different disciplines but they can be used interchangeably the tech the technicalities and the techniques and the methods can be used into interchangeably in the movie and, uh, and also in the game sector this is regularly regarded as the entertainment so the same channels might be made use of here and if you are using 3d or, or digital arts or maybe traditional arts then yeah there are some uh, facilities and also we have been making use of those facilities as well for example the programs that we are using for example uh, the studios might be different, but in almost every studio that I have go, after learning the programs, after adapting to the pipelines, then we develop a story in general terms, and then we developed the concepts and also the storyboards, the animities, and also the pr uh, the pre-wise and we, yeah they are all regarded as reproduction and in the production part in modeling texturing compositing are also developed and they continue in that way so within this pipeline generally i developed concepts and 3d modeling i've been working and uh, working on and i will give some details about this uh, in my presentation and uh, 2d designs and 3d designs i've been working on and in terms of programs i use maya I, i'm really using maya there are some different ones also uh, using maya or max but in my general studio i i've been using maya i i, I didn't start with max but i started with maya 
pipeline is not at end. end by so these are all serving the same pipeline, actually. This is the milestone in general terms. And and as texturing Murray substance and painter I've been using on as render engine in terms of production I've been I've been working on mainly uh, in rendering part but as developing concepts I made use of renders and I also paint on them and I develop my concepts that way therefore in terms of the production the programs that I've been using on yeah I can't use them so often because I have been focusing on concepts right now but previously I've been working on modeling in game companies in terms of the programs used in those companies yeah Maya is also being used so when you just use the model in ZBrush in the topology part and the number of polygons in games in cinematography and in different sectors there might be some differences but basically how strong the render engine is so important the texture resolution is also important but step by step in Unreal in the demo that they have launched without without restricting high quality high solution rendering possibilities they have attained actually so the power of Unreal here yeah it will it will really provide some other programs to continue that way and it will give an inspiration to reach that technology as well so the lower poly count lower models rather than lower quality poly counts then higher quality of poly counts we will be able to produce and it will affect the style the working style of ours in the positive way while using ZBrush always in our minds there might be some questions about topology but right now in in lower solution uh, games we need to make retopology yeah visually I'm gonna share all of those with you and I'll show and tell about them but in my production as a concept developer well because I've been working as I said I worked as the concept developer I will give you some details about that in general terms, as a concept developer, after finishing 2D, then you go to 3D uh, developing version. But here in my position, both in 2D and 3D creations, according to the requirements of your project, you start and in ZBrush, you develop your concept and then topology and it has a way like this but I've, I haven't been focusing on topology I've been focusing on concept design and also some artists make use of those and also they can transmit it to texturing artists in ZBrush and in 3D modeling without making drawing I can develop concepts yeah I have some ZBrush sketches here and accordance with them I got the approval so you don't need to uh, draw the character in every details you can make the changes in a faster way and also you can render the character in a faster way and you can get some approvals from the supervisor and the director of the project it has an advantage there therefore while working I'm having the concepts in 3D and in terms of production within the pipeline when the animation becomes stronger 
then I work with some other artists. Maybe there might be some juniors. They are having topology and they open the UVC and they uh, prepare the model. And in topology part, it's also a technical matter. When I first started this job, I, I got really afraid. Why? Because I got uh, the infrastructure of drawing, I have the capacity of drawing. When I see topology, I got really worried how to uh, carry out topology because it's a detailed uh, work and I need to have a Wi-Fi accordingly. I'm not a very technical, um, technically experienced artist, but later on I got used to it. It's first of all a discipline in order to carry out a good topology for the game, actually. In order to optimize the modeling, it's first of all an art. Because the optimization process, when it is involved, there is a real geometry. You have the knowledge of geometry. You have to um, you have to know about rig, and that might pose some problems in this process. And you have to know beforehand what problems you're gonna face. So the person who is carrying out rig also should know about topology. You should know the same language. It's really a different discipline. I have really carried out it for so long, but. Uh, right now, as I mentioned, I'm more focusing on topology. This is really a more important part. Yeah, it really plays a great important role. And the more you are better at topology, and then you have more possibilities to gain more and more in topology and in arts in general terms. Some people are really carrying out UE modeling so there is really a regularity here like your clothes are being shaped together in a closet you know so you don't see any distinction there this is really a very different discipline i believe that it's really a technical work i can name it i'm a little bit far away from those i've been focusing on design in the last five or six years Therefore, I'm really very pleased with what, what I've been doing because I, I really like more design. But within this pipeline, the preparation of characters on technicalities is really a different matter. But in this sector, the 3D design, 3D character design should be known in our sector. The, you are expected to draw, you're expected to model, and while you are having some drawings, it's also an additional value for you. Why? Because the designer, while transmitting it to 3D modeling, then your style is so important while it's being transmitted. So it shows your success in this case. So drawing is so important here. And to explain yourself in a certain style is just uh, one part of modeling and it's also an artistic part of this job so it's also a plus it's regarded as a plus in this sector so all those processes after they are all being completed with an engine uh, to carry out with an engine is the end of the thing and the task now i would like to share some visual things with you Maybe you, most of you are familiar with ZBrush. I'm going to show you a few job samples, how I carry out, how I carry those jobs. I'd like to show you and I'd like to share some visual uh, components with you. And I would like to have a short break, uh, please. Then I will carry out it and we'll turn back to you soon. Now I'm going to leave uh, from the session and we'll come back. And you will enter our session on your PC then. We will see you. While waiting for Onur Bey, I will talk about today's program to our participants. After Onur Bey at 2 p.m., 
Burak Tezateşer will have a presentation. He's the founder of Nowhere Studios and knowing the Steam user very well and as an indie developer to place yourself in a better way, he will talk about that. And at 3 p.m. Mete Özbey will be together with us and he's going to talk about high uh, following and highly watching and and at 4 p.m. Tolga Hitchcran will be together with us in his workshop and he will use VFS graphs and he will design a pool and he will share it with us and in the uh, final uh, program of In The Way, Batuay Tennis will be together with us. He is a doctorate student in University of Santa Cruz and he will talk about artificial intelligence and artificial learning styles. In order to participate, you can follow our portal website and you can visit our website and our program is also valuable there and you can link on the Zoom. Uh, you can click on the Zoom links there and you can participate in our sessions and also we are announcing it in Discord. I think Ono Bay has just turn back. Yeah, we can hear you. I think you can also hear us. Yeah, I can. Thank you. Now I'm sharing my screen now with you. Now we can see your screen right now. Yeah, look, I'm going to show you some samples right now there are some visual references but yeah you can directly start with 3d um designs and in accordance with your design that there is a character appearing and i'm going to show it to you right now Okay. Program is ZBrush. The program is ZBrush here. If you ask me, as for me, although I have really tested so different programs, ZBrush is the most suitable program that I've, I'm really using. There are really so many sculpting programs, but but it depends on the preferences of the artist, how he or she feels comfortable in using the program. Because the topology, if you have the topology of the model, then after ZBrush, FBX, that there are some standard formats. If you can also have topology by different types, then how you work differently is not so important. The... Um, ben herhangi bir dediğim gibi konsept tasarım. Pardon. Herhangi bir konsept tasarım uh, kullanmadım. Uh, I haven't made use of concept design. The fundamentals of designs, from starting from the fundamentals of design, it's not different from paperwork. It's a rough sketch, actually, here. So I just transfer it to the director of the project. And if they are pleased with 
its direction, then I give some more details without losing so much time at the beginning. I present five or six different samples, and at the end of those samples, according to the according to likes, I have a rough model, and I make some more details on the draft project. For example, the color is a fixed one on the model, but there, there are no different tones on. But ZBrush has some features on with Coli Paint that could be a basic texture. There might be some darkening in the eyes, and some difference of the armor are separate. Some are fixed. Because the topology is not ready, and because it is just in concept, you can make the necessary changes very fast. So you don't have any questions in your mind about the topology part. In Max or Maya, you, you just create a character, and on that character you can edit some details on ZBrush, and the topology from Maya is clear. You don't need to make so many changes here because you already have made the necessary changes in Maya. Without sculpting the textures, with normal map in Photoshop, you can make it detailed. So 85% Maya, 15% the other programs it could be. But right now, while doing hard surface, Maya is also being used because I'm mostly talking about the character. So you can finish everything on ZBrush and then you can turn back to Maya to make some little changes on topology. For rig, you can also go there. But for designing and for sculpting, I make them here. It gives me the opportunity to make the necessary changes. I, I do really don't mind about the changes in topology. The main thing here is the design. And after finishing the design in a very short time with a clean topology, you can carry it to any program, to any other program. And in different technicalities, you can make use of it later on. And in this concept development process, after basic texture, the there is also any other modeling. For example, there needs to be some places that need to be edited. For example, the lines could be um, more, more straight lines here, but because the parts, as you can see, these parts are all separate. These are all separate parts. Yeah, for example, there is something inside, you know. This is also another part. This is not so important. Why? Because I'm developing concept. How big the, your component, how big your part is not so important. The general unity is the important thing here. So they were all managed on ZBrush. There are some details on each part. They are all rough right now. So you can really clean them more and more by making some edging. As I've said previously, what I give importance here is the language of design. For example, in this arm, how much functional is it? You should keep them in mind. When you bend your arm, the bending places, for example, there are more than one parts. Yeah, it's something like a bolt. Rather than the metallic structure, it seems to be more plastic. This is a little bit technological. And also it has some functional features as well. 
it has also its own language in terms of colors for example it's it seems to be really feminine so there are really very delicate delicate features here and also there are some aggressiveness it's there is a full design language here this is this is what i've been trying to do in my part personally there are some sharp parts for example that might be some sharp edges so this is really a standard language in design what i've been consuming and spending my time here is not a is not a technical issue it is just related to design and without sketches without any 2d visuals directly on 3d but it gives me some advantages after you finish your design i'm not gonna after finishing this model i will just prepare its topology and this by this way you just um accelerate the process so yeah you just hit two birds with one stone here tasarıma odaklanıyorum başka size gösterebileceğim and also there might be some other things that I can share with you So this is a Z brush, brush sketch. So inside Z brush, without a topology, it's a digital sculpt. It has its own topology, but for deformation and for texture, it's not a systematic way to do that. I'm not thinking of that one i just focus on design and on t pose it can be rigged and after finding its topology it can be animated i've been designing it that way and without drawing from scratch starting with z brush it's a work that way and the, and the texture on it facilitates the separation of some different parts it has been painted that way for example the face is green and um, the mouth is red and also the colors are different here inside the mound of course so the, this is really very basic it has been painted basically so the supporting details are also in different colors it has been prepared very simply what i give importance here is that as you see here there's a silhouette it's a powerful its feet are on and i have a silhouette like this one and after passing this process i have been also working on anatomy for example you just see the muscles there there is no skin there are no scales yeah, you just see the muscles right here the reason why i made this i really wanted to create my character in a realistic way i would like to see the audience and the followers to see the inside of my character the systematic approach should be reasonable so the mm, neck muscles should be strong enough this dragon is originating from asia and just by moving its tail it's making a loud noise 
this is my concept here. It seems to be a snake, a flying snake. And I got inspired by the living things, I mean the animals here. In order to move its tails, the muscles should be strong enough. It's, it's really a slim living creature. It seems to be athletic, doesn't, doesn't have too much weight. The muscle structure should move accordingly. For example, there are two bones, but there is no muscle between the two um, bones there. Why? Because it um, facilitates the creatures moving in a faster way. So, it, during windy weather, so that it facilitates the creature to move faster, to make better maneuvers, and in a fight with the other birds and with some of the bats, it gives the creature to make sudden movements. These are all concepts. Nobody has mentioned me about such a dragon. There's a story. So I made some additions here. So th with this way, the character becomes more realistic. And how the character is being fed? Why does it use its horns? There are some mammals fighting in a certain area. The male mammals are fighting with one another. They are really very powerful animals and they can attack the other animal ju by, just by spreading fire and they are just fighting in the same area. They are just using their horns and I'm all making up this story and by this way I'm designing, I'm making the necessary design. So the content is so deep and meaningful and how much it is deep in visuality then the story becomes stronger. So the more important thing here about me is to experience it. The living creature should also experience it, should live the conditions. There is not a standard here because I've been working on some living creatures. This is regarded as a surreal creature. This, yeah, you can also design a creature that cannot live on earth. I'm always making use of some technicalities. There is also a fat tissue and then the skin will come on it. And also most of the muscles will vanish, but you will feel that there is a tissue of muscles just under them. But about those muscles, there's going to be a fat tissue and then the skin. And with a different perspective, I got it into Photoshop. So this is my pipeline right here, as I showed you. I take it to ZBrush. I have it in different renders, in different light atmosphere. I have experienced it because lightning is so important here. I got the dragon, for example, here. I designed it proportionately. I made some necessary changes. For example, it's a far eastern style dragon right here. There could be some javelry in order to make it more elegant in order to make it a more sacred dragon. In Photoshop, I made some changes. I made some paints on my dragon. I add jewelry, having an accessory around its neck. And I changed the details here around the neck. I arranged and designed the color of its eyes. And I also made some changes with his teeth. I made some scales on it. 
Yeah, I also think every detail in Photoshop. And also, when I turn back to ZBrush after this concept, the things that I would like to add or change on ZBrush, I will carry out again. It, yeah, you need to go further here. So you need to see how the jewelry will will seem around the neck, for example. So on Photoshop, you can have a more faster scale. It's also a part of my pipeline. And I turn back to 2D. I made this design. And then when I turn again back to ZBrush, I will add some details again. And its texture will be done in a different program. So uh, I come and go between 2D and 3D according to the budget of the project and the time of the project. But in my personal works, I always start with a sketch. But in my professional work, if I, ta if I have more time, of course, I start it that way. There is a 3D model here, it's rough. But the details are with 2D and then I add some 3D modeling. And we, these are all, all added to the model. And it has become, it has been turned into a model. Yeah, you can just go between 2D and 3D modeling. But what I do is to start with sketches. When you start with 2D, there should be some supportive components supporting 2D. There must be a 3D render. There is a there is also an edit additional sketch on Maya. This is also another concept. Okay. Şuradan bir model daha göstereyim. Bunu da I'm going to show you another model right now. It has been prepared as demo. Bu yine ZBrush'ta herhangi bir referans kullanmadan direkt... Without using any references on ZBrush, ZBrush, sorry. It has been carried out as a sketch. It, it may be called as a ZBrush sketch. There is no detail on it, no topography on it. It's a single part. There might be some separate parts. Yeah, the hat, maybe some balls are separate here. There are many other parts. After this sketch, after this design, and I've been working on this part of I am pipeline. in this part of the pipeline as I am on. I've already uh, said, and I support at least three D concept. And depending on the customer request and depending on the project targets, I uh, totally work on three D, and then I clarify it with some supports. Actually, I do not deliver uh, the clear part. Actually, there are topology artists dealing with this. And 
and uh, I just at the I'm just at the part of the 3D concept of this and in pro the projects and uh, these forms, this is my working method and uh, and if they also request some topology and also the finalization of the concept, I also do it. But uh, my actual study is just to develop the 3D concepts. That's the end of my presentation. If there are any questions, I will be glad to answer this question. Onur Bey, there is one question in the Q&A menu. Mut Aguilar asks, and uh, how long does it take to uh, make this model and uh, drawing the topology? Actually, for each character, it, it changes, it varies. But at the beginning, I can say that. There is a basic mesh, for example, I generally start with a base mesh or uh, if it is a very extreme situation, for example, developing the dragon from zero and or uh, any other um, uh, not uh, or a unique character, then I start from the uh, basic and uh, preparing the topology and making up the concept of this is also depends on the person you work with sometimes there are many feedbacks there are some changes requested and um, in the industrial standards doing such a 3d concept and finalizing it with a few versions for example, different shields, different armors uh, may be requested from time to time, or options can be for, for submitted to the customer. Uh, with different eyes, different ears, uh, broader shoulders, etc. Uh, four or five versions can be submitted, and it approximately takes ten days as a standard and after making a decision details are worked upon and it gets ready for the topology this is ready for the topology for example because and there will be some clarifications during the topology process uh, and it also takes some time and you need to um, examine and uh, make up the age flow as well and if everything goes right, developing such a character just takes around 10 days, maximum 12 days. That's the answer. Thank you very much. Is there any other question you can write in the Q&A menu or in the chat box? I think no. Okay, thank you very much for your invitation. I hope that this has been a helpful uh, session for all. Thank you very much and good luck. I'll see you.